On March 4, 1961, mural tombs in Liaoyang were designated as one of the first key historical and cultural sites under national level protection. It was the first shortlisted national level key site in Liaoning. The mural tombs dated from mid to late Eastern Han Dynasty until the Western Jin Dynasty spanning nearly 300 years. Liaoyang, originally known as Xiangping, was the capital of the Liaodong Commandery and was the earliest administratively established city in the Northeast region and remained political, economic and cultural center of the Northeast China until the Qin Dynasty. Liaoyang attracted a large influx of people from the central plain due to its dense population, favorable weather, and a relatively peaceful environment. The mural tombs are a vivid portrayal of the Liaodong area with its stable society, affluent life, and prosperous culture. Most of the tombs have flat roofs and multiple chambers. The small ones were joined husband and wife tombs, and the large ones were joined tombs for multiple family members. The chambers were constructed of slabs of shale from Nanfen, which interlock for support. The large stone slab walls were directly painted using pigments of different colors, which is the type of painting unique to Liaoyang. The objects depicted are vivid even in cramped chambers. The paintings are complete. They are not only diverse, but also connected along the walls, suggesting that Chinese painting techniques were well established. The murals mainly center on tomb owner's life experience, such as the home, captures, acrobatics, horse leading, cattle plowing, etc. The ceiling is painted with patterns of sun, moon, and clouds. These images reproduce the luxury life of noble families in Han, Wei, and Jin dynasties. Feng Yongqian, an archaeologist, noted that the paintings were both mature and unique among contemporaneous tombs. The techniques are quite distinctive and their academic value and historical status are comparable to major discoveries like the scriptures from Dunhuang, the wooden slips from Gansu, the oracle bone inscriptions from the Yinxi ruins, and even Peking map. 